So Hamish, during COVID, a lot of people access their super and, and draw down on their super. What is it now that people should, whether they drew down or not, be considering in their superannuation? Yeah, great question, Matt. So, I mean, you're right. Lots of people took money out of their super uh, last year and some used it for not so good purposes. Some used it for great purposes. But what this has done is, you know, there's this concept of what's called compounding, which basically means that, you know, 10 grand, you take it 10 grand out of super today and the value of what that will look like in 10 or 15 years time could be three, four, five times what that initial figure looks like. So, so people probably need to have this idea that, okay, I, I need to replace that. Now, that doesn't mean it needs to go into super. It just means it needs to go into investments, long-term investments that are designed to help you down the track. I mean, this has been a, a debate for probably decades in terms of how much money should we be, be putting away for retirement and, and for, for future goals, big goals. Um, and uh, and so, yeah, I think people need to be saying, all right, well, when I'm back on track, I, I need to work out how to replace that and put it back in so that I'm not, you know, basically living on the pension in 20 years time. So Matt, people looking to go the next step in their property life, what should they do? Go to our website, Dave, visionpf, that's P for property, F for finance, visionpf.com.au, and then you can make a 15-minute booking, and we'll get in touch, and we'll have a chat, see how we can help you out.